All right, my friends, how is everybody doing today? Now, if you're watching this versus listening to it, you're going to notice we're in a little bit of a different location here. We are in the Inn at Spanish Bay and on a little golf trip. Well, charity uh, golf trip deal thing. Uh, videos coming out so you'll 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 be hearing a lot about that and just want to say hopefully you um get a lot out of the videos and all that good stuff but we must start off first and foremost with i would say the uh the tweet heard round the world and this was a tweet by tiger woods and you've probably heard it seen it a lot of of craziness going on about this I waited a while because honestly I thought this was fake I, there was just no way I thought this was real Tiger doesn't do this kind of stuff his Twitter account his social media posts seemed all very formal corporate like I don't even know if he has I mean, I'm sure he has a lot to do with it, but is he there on his phone? Is he the one doing the stuff, sending out the tweets or whatever? Or it, it just always seems like it's somebody else that's managing his account. So anyways, Phil sent out a tweet not too long ago. Okay, Mickelson tweets, uh, and I quote, right? I like to thank all the crazies and real supporters too for helping me win the PIP, the Player Impact or Initiative Program, uh, to get the second half of the money, I have to add an event I haven't played in a while. See you in Kapalua. P.S. I'll try to find another hot, controversial topic soon. Now, okay, Phil, I, the, the results came out in Tiger won. So, but here's the deal. Tiger tweets, whoops, with, uh, you know, some emojis in there. So is it whoops? This is my question. Is it whoops? You didn't win. I won, which it, it, it kind of takes it that way. Or is it whoops? I'll try to find another hot, controversial topic soon, because as we know, uh, Phil has gotten in a, a ton of hot water. So. That, that's initially where I landed was I'll try to find another hot controversial topic soon. And so when I saw Tiger's tweet, the whoops, I thought he was jabbing at Phil or kicking Phil while he was down, which, you know what? It, it seems like this is the deal. I always kind of go with my first initial, let's say, gut reaction because here's the thing. Tiger, uh, and, and so, well, a lot of people are giving Phil a lot of, uh, they're turning on him. A lot of players. If you haven't listened to the Pat Perez podcast with, uh, what is it, Subpar podcast, like go check that out because Pat Perez just tells the truth. He tells it like it is. I love that dude. So he just like, look, I don't care. About, like he just lays it out all on the line. So a lot of players are turning on Phil. So when I saw this tweet, this was my initial reaction. Like was Tiger, what was he doing here? And he can get away with the fact that, well, Tiger won the player, the pip, but Phil uh, sent this tweet. So Tiger can kind of give him a jab. Like, no, I'm talking about the player impact, the, the pip money i want it not you but the question is what do you think do you think he was really talking about that or do you think possibly and i do i think he was really giving phil a little uh, a little jab while he's down saying hey dude um you did like you are finding other controversial hot topics to talk about soon and, and whoops, meaning uh, you got yourself in hot water there, not with the fact that you said you won and I really won. Now, this whole pip money is absolutely ridiculous in my book. Here's why. This is for players who 
are promoting, who promote or, or promote, what are they promoting? The PGA Tour? They're PGA Tour players. And they get social media and nobody knows how you gauge or calculate this stuff. It's just, hey, there's social media, okay, that um, you do and then you get credit for it in some way, shape, or form. And we're going to keep um, a track of that and let you know who gets this money. Now, I don't know about you, but it sounds a bit fishy to me. But we're not going to tell anybody really how we uh, calculate engagement. We're just going to figure it out and let you know who gets the money. So Tiger gets the money. Phil gets the money. Bryson gets the money. And you know some of the other guys get some money too. But it's kind of ridiculous that it's so behind the curtain, so dark, so we're not going to let you know. We're just going to do it and uh, let you know what happens later on. And how, 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 I mean, that's just get it. And why do you, why do they do this? It's very bizarre. It's very bizarre. It's another layer to what is causing Phil so much uh, grief and anger and other players too, because it's another way really for the tour to control people. It's another way for them to say, hey, what we're going to do is we're going to give out some extra money, but you have to do what we say you have to do. You have to post certain things that equals a certain amount of points, let's say, and you have to do it in a certain way because that's going to equal certain points. You have to hashtag certain things and, and link other things so that it helps us. And then what we'll do is give you credit for that and then at the end of the year we'll we'll tally it all up and we'll give out money if and only if you do these other things such as playing so many events and you have to play in these events and you have to play in that event and if you haven't played in this event in a long time you need to do that and there's other things you have to do so you've got to kind of bow down and kiss our ring and we'll give you some extra money so i could see why let's say a phil and some other players could be so upset about a lot of things well until you look at the fact that well they are giving you tons and tons of money so what's the big deal they you make millions and millions of dollars and so like any other job if your job says to you okay here's how you get your bonus you have to show up on time every day for work you have to do your job in a certain way. When you fill out your reports, this is how they have to be formatted. You have to call this many people. You have to keep track of how many billable hours you have. You have to turn in your expense reports on time. You have to do all these things. And if you do them, what we're going to do is we're going to take everybody in the company and give you points based on all the things that you have to do. And whoever has the most points at the end of the year gets the most money. Well, that would be totally fine. No big deal. You would say like, okay, I'm going to do the most stuff. I'm going to make the most calls. I'm going to prospect, cold call. I'm going to whatever I need to do, knock doors to get more money. And that would be totally fine. So I don't see really what the problem is about that other than the fact that you think the tour is greedy because they make a lot of money. Well, they're a business, and I'm all for businesses making a lot of money. So they can do whatever they want. If you're not happy, go somewhere else. And start your own company. Do your own thing. Nobody's, like, forcing you to be anywhere. And if you complain, if I own a company, if you work for Mr. Short Game, and I say, okay, you have to edit. You have to post certain things. Hey, this is how you have to format my Instagram posts and my TikToks. And here's how I like you to shoot this and that and that. And if you're all upset with me because I'm making millions and millions of dollars, which I'm not, but if I was, that'd be awesome. Would it? I don't know. But if I'm making tons of money and you're not happy with how much money you're getting paid, well, you have an option. You can ask me for more money. I could say no. Then you could leave and go find a new job. That's totally right. Go find a new job. That's what you do. If you're an editor, and you don't like how much money you get paid, you can go edit somewhere else. And guess what? If no one's willing to pay you, then maybe you're not worth what you think you're worth. So, Phil, if you want to go get a new job somewhere else, do it. 
rock and roll, do whatever you want to do. Let's not complain. Let's not bite the hand that feeds you. And they feed you quite well, by the way. And uh, regardless of what Tiger Woods' post meant, meaning, oh, you didn't win, I won, whoops, a little early, or if it meant, um, oh, you did get yourself in hot water, I'm going to kick you while you're down, then that could have been what it meant too. I want to know how you guys took it. Comment below. Let me know what you your thoughts are. Do you think it meant one thing or the other? Do you think it meant like, oh, you said you won, but I won? Or do you think it meant, uh, <laughs> boy, you sure got in a lot more hot water soon. There you go. I'm going to remind you of that fact. It was interesting. Tweet heard around the world from the big cat, the big dog, the goat, Tiger Woods, whatever you want to say. <sighs> Ouch. It hurts. But you brought it on yourself. I like it. I like giving each other a little bit of, mm, but hopefully Phil kind of comes to his senses and we'll see. I'm so, We're still waiting. Will he show up at the Masters? That's what I want to know. Let me know that too.